In this video, I venture into the comic cave. Stay tuned. What's going on comic friends? It's Ryan the Colossus Collector and in today's video I'm going to show you a little bit of a visit that I had recently with a new friend in the comic community named Sean. He goes by the handle The Caveman on his Whatnot show and his Whatnot channel called Comic Cave Canada. Uh, he's actually got one of the biggest if not the biggest private comic collections in all of Canada and he's built this collection up over many generations from his grandfather to his father to himself and uh, he's just got so much stuff now that it's too much to deal with it's too much to leave to his kids and too much to really even go through and sort and what he's trying to do is sell off a, a chunk of that collection and get it into the hands of collectors like you and me people who love the hobby who appreciate the books who want them in their pcs uh, he's got books that are in incredible shape, books from all kinds of eras, golden to modern, DC, Marvel, independent, you name it. And uh, he sells at great prices and gives great deals and uh, just really tries to make friends with all the people that come to his shows. Also has great giveaways as well. So I, I highly recommend his his channels uh, his channel and his his shows on whatnot that's comic cave canada and i uh recently popped by there to pick up a couple books that i got from him on whatnot and he him and his wife uh miss tamara uh graciously had me for a little while at their facility where uh he has all his comic books and allowed me to do a little bit of footage, uh, presented me with the books that I got from him, and uh, also a great gift as well from him, uh, just out of uh, out of friendship. So here's the footage, uh, and then I'll come back and I'll, sh I'll give you a closer look at the books. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm Ryan, Colossus Collector. Oh my God, Ryan. <laughs> How's Sean, it going? How are you, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This is an awesome surprise. Come on in. Hi. This is Tamara. Hi. Miss T, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. All right. So we got some books. We got the CGC stuff, brother. Let's take. Let's open her up then. To... Okay, Ryan. Here's the orders. Now some of these might be other customers' books, but you're fantastic for in there. Here we go. Unboxing. It's yours. It's fine. Got Amazing Spider-Man 315. Beautiful. 9.4. Metal Man 28. Mr. DeHood's book. 6.5. Nice. nice. And I believe this is mine. Fantastic 4, 55. A 3.0. Ooh, 3.0. Nice. Yeah. Take it out of the bag. Good looking book. I guess it's going to be the effect of the staining here. It's, yeah, it's positive because the book is nice looking. We press it up, but it's the staining. I yeah. guess that's that's lowered the grade on it. But there's no chipping or flaws on the back of the book. But you can see here it's got a little bit of staining. But the front is just beautiful. Yeah, it presents amazing, doesn't it? It does look awesome. It presents awesome. Sweet. And we'll take a look into Let's the Let's take a look at the other boxes. Yeah. What are the other box? These should be uh, Mr. Leslie Chow's books. Oh, Leslie Chow. Seen them in the shows before. And we're also waiting on Alaska Alex's order. Um, he's got that old flash book. I'm kind of curious to see what the old flash book got. And the Joker. There's another one Joker in here. Oh, nice. Just one book, actually. One book in this one. Yeah. Ooh, 
the nice. flash book. Beautiful. Flash 178. Gorgeous. Oh. Wow, nice. Let's Let's see see Beautiful cover. Holy oh, smokes. Yeah, that, that book's awesome. Brand new old stock. Yeah. Going to a lucky owner. Yeah. That's hard to get that on an old book like that. Eh? Oh, yeah, for 19, sure. 1968. I mean, that, that square bound. 1968. So awesome. All right, let's see what we got here, Ryan. You already found your book, but we're gonna check out these other ones and see what's happening. All right, we've got a 9.0 X Factor One. This was brand new, old stock. Mm -hmm. um, gorgeous book. I just got one back 9.4 in my Did you? latest. I think that has to do with maybe the cut on this one. Mm -hmm. The shear cut's a little bit off. Mine had a slight little rust to the staple. Um, beautiful book here. Yeah. Nine, oh six. man, beautiful. 9.6. Yeah, that's gorgeous. 1984, look at this. This is uh, Mr. Leslie Chow's book as well. That thing is just awesome. That's how I'm happy with that. You'll be ecstatic with that one, 9.6. And a 9.2 on the green. Now, just, you know, these books, even though they're brand new, um, I was told that if they have any little impression from being in a poly bag or storage, mm -hmm. they need to be pressed. So we learn that new. You learn something new every day. So collectors, press your books, even if your books are brand new old stock or they're right off the, uh, the magazine rack. Direct, however, there's a 9.8, beautiful, brand new old stock. So we get the nine eights on the silver. This particular book, if it has the um, lizard miscolored as the printer ink cartridges ran out at Marvel, uh, can be extremely valuable. Um, you look for a yellow or a purple lizard or a blue lizard. As the cartridge ran out, the lizard changed colors as the ink faded. So that's uh, something to look for. Here's a nice spawn one, nine two. Got a nine two on spawn one. Again, I believe this is Mr. Leslie Chow's book here. Nine two, respectable grade. Oh, Mr. Alaska Alex with the Joker. Beautiful. Hot book right now. Yep, 1975, 6.5. Guys, that's awesome. Wow, that book's nice. Just beautiful. And what else we got? We got a Marvel Con. There we go. Oh, that's nice. the ones I was showing you in the back, Ryan. Brand new old stock. All right, we've got about 100, 150 of these. So there's our first one we have sent in. It come, it's come back in a 9.6. Just beautiful. Man thing on the wow, back. Great that. back cover too. Gorgeous. So we'll hopefully we'll get some 9.8s in that one. And I know the 9.8s are going up close to 200 now. Uh, $150 to $200 range, which is nice. Mordred, Marvel Chillers number two. 8.0, very respectable again for a 1975 comic book. You know, that's almost a 50 year old comic book to get it in the 8.0 is just awesome. That's a beautiful, beautiful copy there. And that's it for this submission. Cool. We submit once a week. Um, I'm sending books down every every Friday. Um, that, I do that so they don't sit at the post office. And I think that's the best way. We insure all the books at Common Cave Canada and they're all shipped fast. Our longest turnaround time I've experienced since becoming a CGC dealer is nine days. Nine business days, that's it. Hey Ryan, so all right. I appreciate you know all the books you bought from us at Common Cave Canada helping Ms. Swear and I out. And for coming down today, you know, and being a friend, always in my show, always participating. This is a gift from Tamara and I to you. Awesome. I know you're asking about it on the show, and I wanted to give that to you. Love it. Amazing. So Mariner 2. Yay. Really appreciate that. Thank Thanks you so man. much. Appreciate you. Yeah, that's an amazing book. I'm gonna be working on a sub run, so that's, well, that's a start that's great. To it. I got one, so now I got two. So there that's you go. Great. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Appreciate it. The caveman also allowed me to take a little bit of a tour of their building there. This was their storefront setup that once was a storefront, but uh, now they're exclusively sellers on whatnot. And as you can see, tons of long boxes and short boxes filled with comics, some cool statues, some great wall art, as well as some original art from comic books signed by the artists and beautiful wall books, vintage comics that have been 
carefully collected and preserved over the years by his family and uh, just beautiful books and beautiful covers. And then I went into the back, into their warehouse, where they have a lot of comic books. Tons of short boxes and long boxes, again, filled with brand new old stock and other books that they've collected over generations. They've got their little shipping set up for their whatnot orders. This rack had a lot of their buy it now items that are available on whatnot now. And then as you can continue to see, tons of short boxes, tons of long boxes filled with books. He also had some really cool um, vintage gas pumps and petroleum collectibles. Just really beautiful and well preserved oil cans and gas cans. And then the books just continue on. He also had short boxes and long boxes on racks here some statues as well up there on the top rack lots and lots of books and this is just scratching the surface i know they have some trailers and some other caches of books that they haven't even gotten to so lots to organize and lots to sell uh, so give them a follow on whatnot and get into their sales because they have great books to sell and there'll be lots more to come in the future and subscribe to the Caveman's YouTube channel as well. It's Caveman Collectibles here on YouTube, and he's got great videos coming up, great tips for collectors, so give him a subscribe. So as you can see, he's got tons and tons of comics, uh, and that's really just scratching the surface. He's He's got long boxes and, and more storage of comics that he hasn't even pulled out yet. And part of him selling them is also saving them, you know, uh, they're, they're being crushed under the weight of so many boxes piled on top of uh, other boxes. So, you know, buy from the caveman because uh, it's also helps, helping save a lot of great comics that have been collected over the years. So as you saw in the footage, uh, I picked up this Fantastic Four 55 uh, in a 3.0. Um, I bought it from him on his show Raw and... Uh, then I, I actually paid him through service to clean and press and submit it to CGC, uh, which he does do uh, for some some of his buyers, uh, which is great. You know, if you want to just if you buy something from him and you want to get it quickly graded and and uh, and prep clean and press, he can do all that for you, uh, which is great. So you don't have to uh, wait a long time to get it into a bigger submission or whatever. So. Um, Really like this book, so I, I got him to do that for me. Came back a little lower than we were both uh, expecting and hoping for, uh, but uh, still, just an awesome presenting Fantastic Four 55, uh, and uh, just really happy to have this book. And uh, it was cool to be able to go and pick it up from him and uh, meet him in person and, and get all the footage and see his, uh, his uh, comic hoard. <laughs> And then as you saw in the video, he uh, gave me this as a gift. Uh, Submariner 1, some nice Silver Age Submariner. I'm actually, you know, I have, I just this year got my Submariner 1. And uh, now I'm kind of got an itch to, to collect the whole run of uh, Silver to Bronze Age Submariner books uh, within, this, within this run. So... It's a great start to have one and two, and uh, I'm really thankful to the Caveman for the gift. It's a really nice uh, book, presents so well, and uh, just super happy to have it in my collection. So, uh, before we end the video, I just want to say one last uh, big thank you to the Caveman for having me, uh, as well as Miss T, and uh, for showing me the inner workings of your show and your collection. Uh, it was really cool and uh, really appreciate uh, you allowing me to make this video about it as well. Um, so uh, before I sign off, I just want to ask everybody to please like and comment on the video and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're growing quickly and uh, your support means a whole lot and uh, 
really hope that you continue to watch the content and enjoy what we put out uh so a big thank you to you to those who have subbed so far and a uh, big thank you to you if you sub in the future uh so that's it uh until the next video keep collecting